Hey there, my name is Hannah Fister and I want to teach you about Canva.com. Canva.com has become such an amazing part of my teaching, um, also my personal business. I just signed up for uh, an education account because I am a long-term sub. I w have a email that was verified at that I'm a teacher. And so what's cool is if I go into my account settings, um, here's my account, that's my name. Um, it, it says, what will you be using Canva for? And I said, teacher. When I first signed up, I said, teacher. And if you sign up and you have a, a school email address, um, I know that with having being a Chico student, you can also sign up as a student. And there is a student account where you get some fr more free stuff to use. And the stuff being photos um, and files and fonts and stuff like that. But you can also use a free account. Now, my account is an education account because I said I'm using it for a teacher and I have my email address there. And so I'm going to go back and this is the home screen. I am using um, an iPad. It will it'll look ex very similar using on any type of um, computer. And so I'm going to start and begin at the top right, create a design. And I'm not 100% sure on pixels, but I know about inches. And so sometimes I'll just click over here and, and I'll say like, oh, like a resume. Resume here says 8.5 by 11 inches. And that's a regular sheet of paper. So I'll click that. Um, and then it'll give you a bunch of templates to use. But uh, for, I mean, you can see all the different things, the ideas that this that Canva has like broadened my mind with is amazing. Uh, bookmarks, I thought the bookmark was cool. A class schedule, gift certificates, like so much fun stuff. So I'm actually gonna teach you how to do, create your own design. So we're gonna go create a design and we're gonna go custom size. And I'm gonna do a regular piece of paper. So eight by five, 8.5 by 11. Oh, and the biggest thing I always forget to do is change the pixels over here to inches or millimeters or centimeters, whatever you're more familiar with. Now I did inches and now it's like, um, this is not correct. So <laughs> when you first want to put in the numbers, change this little thing and then go ahead and put whatever size paper you're using or size uh, creation that you want to create. So I'm going to say create new design. All right, and now here, uh, the very top on the very left, you have your home, your file, your resize. Now, you are able to resize it if you ha are, have a pro account, and you can tell what's for a pro account right next to the little, the little this little magnifying glass on the very right. You see that little crown. The crown means pro account, and now you can pay for it monthly, or like, I'm a teacher, so I get all the the crowns are free, which is amazing. So I could actually like say, oh no, like this isn't the size I needed and I can resize it. Um, but I'm not going to do that. This is exactly what I want over here. We got templates. So it gives you a variety of options to choose from, which are cool. I'll let them <laughs> load. You can pick one and, um, say, oh, th like this is beautiful. I'm just going to change the font or not the font, I'm going to change the, the names. And um, I can edit it myself, like move things around. It's not very, it's not stuck stuck. I can move, I can move it, I can rearrange it. There's a, a lot of cool options for that. And see, that's a cute little menu, but I don't want to do this. I'm going to add a new page. Um, at, at, when you see the page, you can actually title the pages. New page. Um, and I'm actually going to go up and delete the first page. There's There was an option for um, the little trash can to delete. So if I add a new page, you see the little trash can at the top next to the page two. You can also press there's duplicate so I can duplicate the page if it's perfect or there's something I want to change. So I'm going to delete those. I can change the background by selecting the entire page and selecting the box and choosing a different color. I'm going to stick with white. And I'm going to go to uploads. What's amazing about um, 
Canva and that I used when I when I began, I didn't have the free or I just used the free account. So I didn't have a, a whole lot of options like the the photos. Let me see. I'll show you the elements. So if I were elements are just different, amazing things, you can search for things. I, you could tell there's a couple of things that I've searched for. And I just want to show you the basics So shapes. If I were to click on these she shapes, all of these are free because I don't see a little crown next to it. But let me see if I can type in flowers. Let's see what happens. So flowers, these are all free. Usually when I get down lower, it'll have a little crown and it'll basically say like, you're getting th this, this is usually you have to pay for this, but you're getting it for free because I have that teacher account. Um, I am, oh, it says free for Canva for education. So Canva for education users get this media for free. So that's cool. Usually it, sh it used to show a little crown and say, hey, you know, like you're getting this for free, but now it's not. It's just like all there available. So that's really cool. But so I'm going to go back to the top and um, I'm going to go back to upload. So my point is when uh, these elements were not free, um, the videos weren't free. I can go to uploads and upload my own stuff from the internet, which is amazing. And so like you could tell I started uploading. These are coloring pages I found off Pinterest. Um, sometimes like the pictures are little like that. And so I wanted it to be a full page and download it. And I'm, I now I have a full coloring page, which is amazing. Obviously, I'm into crystals. <laughs> I'm going to delete that. Um, now, photos, there's lots of photos you could choose from. Here's one that I chose that has like flowers and eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus. Um, I'm going to go over to the elements and I'm going to type in eucalyptus. All right. And it gives me all these beautiful options. Now, if I, if I scroll through, I will, I won't get anything done. <laughs> so I want to stay focused and choose a really cute one. Um, what's cool about this is I can, for, for the first photo, I can, I can resize it and I can also crop it on the sides, which is amazing. Um, I'm going to bring that back. And then if I say I mess up at the very top left next to the home file resize, there's an undo button. And how many of, of you would love an undo button in life? <laughs> Sometimes I'll, pre I'll like look for an undo button in life and I'm like, dude, <laughs> So here's my little eucalyptus. I also have the option to rotate and resize. And I'm going to bring this little guy over here. Okay, cool. And then um, let's go back. I'm going to go to... Okay, this is the little home page. I can tell because here are the first one says my recently used. There's featured lines, shapes, frames, which is cool because then you can... You can click one of these and then bring a photo into it and make it bigger. And if I were to see all the frames, these are all the options, which is cool. There's some with rips and, and you can add three photos there. So if I were to move, oh, this one's already in a frame, but if I were to move um, a picture into there, it would be, it would have three. I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm going to go into elements, the home page. I double clicked the elements here and it went back to the home and I'm recently used, I'm going to use this one. I like this little frame. Some of the frames and some of the elements you're able to recolor and you can, you'll know you can recolor if you have this little box at the top, um, top left next to the word anime, you press that little box and you're able to change the color. Very cool. I'm loving the green. And um, next, after elements, oh, there's a couple more elements I'll just add for funsies since we're, I'm making a little, I don't know, flyer thing. Oh, what's another thing too is this frame is right on top. I also have the option of um, positioning it and there's the word position um, for, for options and I can move it to the back 
I know that that is also an option on Microsoft Word. So for those Microsoft Word users, we got some old school, old school tools. Um, that's black. I can see the box. I can change it. So I'm going to change that. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, and then there was one more that I, yeah, this one is for cool. I don't know why, just because. Um, and then also this was, I added this earlier. I did a whole example and I didn't realize I could record while, <laughs> while um, doing the screen sharing on my tablet. So now this is my whole redo. <laughs> awesome. And then I want to double check. Yeah. Okay. That looks, that looks really pretty. Now I'm going to go into text. And what's cool about text is you have all these options. You can click on one of these and like before, if I were to click the game on, I can edit the, the text so I can delete that, but it keeps the, the, um, the whole font. So hello, um, that's obviously not going with my theme. I don't think so. I'm going to delete that. I did love this sparkle. This sparkle is one of my favorites. And for here, I'll just type in learning because we're all forever learners here as as teachers hopefully we all continue to be forever learners and um at the very top you it says add a heading so you can add a heading which gives you a bigger a bigger size font to start with add a subheading which is a little smaller and then the smaller smaller one even still um i'm gonna do this subheading Cool. Um, so I can select this font and up at the top, the options, I have all these, ah, now here it is. So on, so you see all of these fonts, options, all beautiful. And this is my favorite, the playlist script and, uh, very top will show you like moon time is another one of my favorites, but so, oh, that was my recently used, um, Next to the font name, you'll see the little crown. So the, those are free for me because I'm an educator. Um, they, they may be free for me because I was a student. So um, that is the little crown I was talking about earlier. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the playlist script. And I can squish that. I can make it bigger. I can also, um, if I want it to be a direct font, of course, you have that option scrolling down maybe i want it at 72 i can do the plus i could do the minus i can change the color of the font oh that's cool all right and then um another cool thing is like here's the frame i down there's that the three dots are obviously an extra menu button and right here that I'm highlighting is transparency and I can make, I can make it like change the settings for the transparency, which is amazing. I love that option. All right. And let's see what else. So we got the font. We got all those options. I can, if I was making a video, I can add audio. That one's a little gnarly. Um, I haven't added too much audio, so let's search audio. Um, my favorite type of music is chill step. There's one chill step, let's see. That's not bad. All right. <laughs> so if I were to uh, turn this into a video, I can add I can add this music I pressed it and now it's being added there it is I got it. but I'm not gonna get that I'm gonna press the trash and the reason why I was only playing five seconds is right there I, I only have the timing for that long and that's four seconds um because it, it says like 4.5 s s being seconds and now uh videos i can add videos which is cool i can put a whole 
a whole video behind. Um, this is really, this is actually really cool too for Instagram. I'll show you a couple examples that I've created. Um, oh, I, it's because I keep holding it down. <laughs> okay, and then what's cool about videos too is you can change the transparency. I love that option. There's so much you can do. But um, because I already have that picture, I'm going to delete that. Oh, I see. It went into the frame. Now I'm going to click. Oh, let's see. Press play. Ah, very cool. <laughs> ah, I love learning as I go too. And so I'm going to press the back button though because I did like that frame before. Ah, that's where it disappeared. It kept disappearing because it's like, oh, you want me to go in the frame and I'll go into the frame for you. So that's it. That's awesome too if you want to make a little frame. Um, one last thing I was going to add over here is... canva.com lesson because I left this little square or this circle here um, and I wanted to give give it something to, to do and I'm going to change the font what's cool is if I put the cursor on, on just one I don't have to highlight it uh, but the cursor go went here and I did press enter to go to the next space so if I just have the cursor there I can change just the font there um, and then there you go. So there's, there's another little tip for, oh, I forgot to mention, do you see these purple lines? What's amazing is it has these guides too, to make sure like everything's straight where you want it, um, and straight or in relation to the other pictures that you have on, on your, your document. Um, and then, so you got videos camera roll which is my camera roll ignore that there's some tiktok videos in there and like my 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 first two ones <laughs> my examples um background you have options to change your entire background that's obviously not what i want to do but that that's an op an, another option um folders which is cool like there you ha have the option to purchase some stuff if you like some stuff i i have not oops i pressed the back button i didn't want to do that um, and cool. So last step that I'm going to show is, um, that I'm going to download. And now I have the option to share it. And what's cool is if, because I have canva.com and because I actually have a class, I could add students to this and like send them cool documents, right? Like that's amazing. Um, I have the option to download it knows it's an image, so it automatically downloads it as an image. But if this was, if I added a video, now this was saved to my camera roll. If I um, added a video, it would give me options. Do you want to save this as a PDF? Do you want to save this as um, a, as a MP4 because it has the video? Do you do you want to save it as a GIF, like you can or GIF, whatever you get, uh, whatever. If you want to save it as a GIF, you can make a GIF, and um, you also have. There it is. So you can you can upload it to Google Classroom. Um, you can make it an assignment. You can save it as an image. You can save it as, here are the options, PNG, WPG, PDF Standard, PDF Print. There's the MP4 and, a, and there's a GIF. Um, so lots of options. If Over here, it says transparent background. That is with a crown, which means that it may not be free if you get the, f the free version, but I could say transparent background. So this is really cool for me because I have a Cricut maker and so I create designs on here and then I have a transparent background which goes straight to my design space and I'm able to create from there. So yeah, um, that's it. And I would love to show you some designs I've made before. Here are... So over here is recommended for you. This is my whole, the whole homepage. Here is all my designs. So this was my first example um, that I, I made without, without talking to you guys and realizing I could. And then here is the one we just made, which is cool. And then here is one I made for Instagram. This is something I heard in my early childhood education class that stuck with me. Everything a child hears from age zero to seven becomes their inner voice. And that became powerful for me and why I became a, t um, a preschool teacher. And I was a preschool teacher for seven years. 
Um, I designed that sticker at the bottom that says Fister For Farm for my sister-in-law who has chickens and she's making pickled eggs and so now they got a little thing. Um, you can, I made these, these are gifts so if I click on this I can press play and it it has just that circle, but that's that's an, another whole thing. Um, I did make one where it was like more blinking. Let me see. I think it's this one. Blinking. Woo! Words are magic. That's why it's called spelling. <laughs> I was just playing around on these, but this is this is just so much fun. It's a game changer. I definitely recommend playing around with it. Um, I had that like hundreds of designs in my my previous accounts but because I no longer work for the University of Santa Cruz um I didn't get to like change my 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 email and so they were like oh well you no longer are like this person and so we can't change your password and um <laughs> my free account became gone so but that's okay um I have all these amazing designs and and I just love 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 canva.com um i recommend it a hundredfold thank you so much for watching my video i'm so i'm sorry if it was long <laughs> and uh have such a great weekend thank you